went to the committee, we said the tape has been edited. And the chairman of the committee came out to say that, yes, the tape has been edited. Well, y y so it, it seems to me. You said allegedly. No, no, it, it, seems, it, seems, it seems to me you are in a hurry to be vindicated. Of course, but, uh, I'll, but I'll be vindicated. I know. We'll see how that. I goes. know what happened. You know what happened. Yes. What happened? I'm not ready to say it here because it is before a committee. So let's talk about some of the things that we have heard at the committee hearing. You have I, admitted that your voice was on the tape. I I will be happy if you drop what is going on before the committee. God is a parliamentary select committee which was initiated by the Speaker of Parliament. And I don't want to do anything that will be... That will preempt the preempt. session. No, we are not, we are not going so to preempt the session. Let's drop that and then go to other things. What I want to clarify is based on my previous question. That? About allegedly you being on that tape. Now, what I want to know is you have admitted that that meeting happened. You have admitted that part of those tapes that we have heard is you. Yes, of course. Why did that... And there were truths. There one were truths. The one of the things in the tape was a lie. Okay. Or what I said, I said the truth. And I'll say it again anywhere. But I'm not ready to discuss it here, as I said. Mm. Because it's before a committee. Right. And I hope... You wait when the committee finishes their work and comes out with their report. Right. Then everybody will know the truth. Indeed. So, again, I'll just come back to, you know, what we've heard so far from the committee hearing real quick. Um, at the hearing, we hear you, again, talk about how poorly you think the current IGP is running and managing the police service. First, I'd like you to elaborate on that. But I'll also ask you, if you have worked under the IGP for the last few years, maybe several even, and you have kept all of these things still while you're in the service, it's easy for someone to conclude that you were embittered against the man. That is somebody's conclusion. But you know why I will not elaborate? Because I was asked the same question at the committee, and I told them that I will do that in camera. So I cannot come and do that here. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Something that I told the committee that I will do that in camera. That is why the committee has now moved in camera. So why should I come and say those things here? But a few things that you said. The, 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 a few those things that, that I you said. said I just want to remind I've you. Said it I'll remind you of those yes. things that you said. You talked about how some POMA members were not invited. The police management board were not invited to meetings. You also spoke about how um, he was gagging everyone else in the police service. He's come out to explain that the reason he had done centralizing communication was so sanity will per, per, um, you know, persist within the service. Is that a reason he's given you uh, before, since you said you've confronted him with some, some of those things already? I'm happy that you are reminding me of what I said. What I said, I've said it already. I need not repeat it anywhere. You understand? Yes. No, I'm not, I'm not asking you to repeat. What I'm asking you is whether or not, because again, at the committee hearing, you mentioned that this is something you had told the IGP yourself because you're a very candid man. Well, what's his response to you back then? His response? Yes. No, that's something you, I will not say it here. It's something I will say it at the committee.